Growing concerns in the Big Sur community over trash, traffic, and a lack of facilities to accommodate the tourists who visit that area each year. Today, many had a chance to voice those concerns to a commissioner from the California Coastal Commission. Action News reporter Felix Cortez was there during her visit. He's got more from Big Sur. For all its beauty, Big Sur unfortunately has some ugly problems. And Friday, California Coastal Commissioner Carol Groom saw them firsthand. And we spent the day showing her different issues down the coast so that she would be familiar when these items come before her, which some of them will. Many who packed a community meeting with the Coastal Commissioner complained of too much traffic. It's estimated nearly 6 million cars travel the scenic highway each year. There's 2.5 people per car. Well, what are we, 14 million folks, right? We have very few bathrooms, uh, very few public uh, facilities, no, no trash receptacles to, to speak of. So we're, we're severely underbuilt. Someone suggested bringing back shuttle service, something the commissioner agreed with. I think that the shuttle can increase access because if you can't find a place to park real close, but you can find a place a couple miles away and hop on the shuttle, you get to where you want to go. A lack of workforce housing, another problem Big Sur businesses are struggling with. This speaker suggested building out the old Naval Research Base, which is now owned by state parks space that's already built out that just needs a retrofit to have affordable housing, workforce housing here in Big Sur. It's ridiculous that it hasn't been sought after. It is a pink elephant in the room. Solutions may not come soon enough for many, but most agreed it's going to take collaboration from all levels of government, including the California Coastal Commission. In Big Sur, Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.